Hey, I'm Jan. I'm Jack. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk creepy spider webs. Jack here is the master of hanging spider webs, and as you'll see, we have some already started. And people keep commenting to us how good our spider webs look, and we thought we'd show you how he does it. Mm hmm. All right, let's get going. Here we have our entryway. Uh, I. Uh, the way I like to hang up webs is using nails in the walls and what I did was used nails to hang up all around the top and the sides of the door and a little bit in front of it as long as there's room to walk in front uh, through the door it's good and I might add a little bit more on the wall right here and we replaced the bulb above here so when the light is on at night it shines down and it's a green light so it shines through the webs to add the next section of spider webs we are using the 750 square feet super jumbo uh, super stretch spider webs from spirit halloween it was ten dollars at the store um, and as you can see the boys started with it very long. They didn't cut it. They didn't try to open it. Um, they are anchoring it at different points. And so you'll see they started out on the bush and now they're going to reach that whole web as far as they can up to those anchor points underneath the covered porch. And so according to Jack and his friends, the secret to a really good spider web uh, design is you want to anchor it to a couple different points and then spread it out. So a big mistake that some people will make is that they try to spread it um, and pull it apart and stretch it over the webs, which they could have done, you know, having two people, three people. Um, but this is the technique that they use. And so you'll see it's long and thin and there's Caleb anchoring it to certain points and then they're go gonna go ahead and spread it out. So right here you'll see around Caleb's neck the rest of the webs. So after the anchor point, they cut the piece that they didn't use and now they're going to go ahead and apply it to the brick. So here we are back at the entryway of the house and you'll notice that the technique is staying the same. They are finding different anchor points, um, this time just using the natural ridges of the brick. So finding an anchor point um, and then spreading them out you'll see um, they're using little spots on the windows and the bricks and just again using that as one big piece and finding an anchor point and then spreading um, Have our finished product it's uh, about dusk right now and you can see we have the floodlight here at the bottom and we changed out one of our three bulbs um, I'm posting below the light bulbs that we use they're really cool you can use some um, remote control so if, if green isn't your thing um, you can actually change it um, to different colors so like let's say you want to do purple instead and have this really cool purple spooky effect um, we can change it to orange i'm kind of a big fan of the orange and again at dusk what the house looks like um, 
There are eight different color choices uh, in addition to white. And we have ours on a timer. And just a little close up of the entryway and you can see it just gives off that really awesome green hue and just makes it super creepy for all of our guests to walk into for Halloween. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck with your webs. Don't forget to post in the comments below if you've tried it, what you think, and we'd love to see your pictures. Um, please share with us. Thanks.